Joe Biden still, he's not going to be leading on this because he doesn't. How many times does this have to be debunked? Listen to him again. This is just over the weekend. The Second Amendment was never absolute. You couldn't buy a cannon when the Second Amendment was passed. You couldn't go out and purchase a lot of weapons. And it's mm. Yeah, see, well, you could own a cannon. You can still own a cannon now. And the Second Amendment is absolute, yes. It's absolute. Now, a state can try to set restrictions. And that was, I wrote about this, that was the whole thing with uh, Scalia and Heller. Scalia wrote some of the limitations are unrelated to conventional arms as we know it. He was talking about unusual objects. And for instance, he gave the example of a head axe and how during the colonial times, um, anything that was a weird weapon, and there's two parts to this. It couldn't just be you having a weird weapon. It had to be you brandishing a weird weapon maliciously with intent to intimidate, fear, or as a threat. That is what was restricted. And everyone loves to bastardize uh, Scalia's opinion in Heller, but they've never read it. Never read it. I'll include my analysis on that. I'll, send, I'll put it in a, uh, the email newsletter over at Substack, Chapter and Verse, which you should be signed up for, especially if you want to be able to track what's happening with your rights here as the Senate reconvenes on June 6th. Now, there's this. It, that was actually disinformation, what, what he had said there. Then you have this thing with, with Adam Kinzinger. I don't even know why anyone's bringing him on anymore. He is an irrelevant lawmaker who was redistricted out of his seat by Democrats who he spent his entire time in office butt-kissing. Listen to this. But I think that raising the age of gun purchase to 21 is a no-brainer. If you look at uh, the Parkland shooting, you look at Buffalo, you look at this shooting, these are people under the age of 21. We know that the, the human brain develops and matures a lot between the age of 18 and 21. We just raised, without really so much as a blink, the age of purchasing cigarettes federally to 21. Uh, I think we need to get there eventually. Hmm. That's Adam Kinzinger talking about stripping people of their rights. No, I don't agree with that at all. I don't agree with that at all. Um, because you're removing from someone their a right from them. And they have never done anything to anybody. You're removing a right from these people without due process, which is incredibly dangerous. You know, what? the whole point is no banning 18-year-olds is going to stop an 18-year-old who's going to get it on the black market. And if they weren't going to do it at 18, what, do you, you're just what, you, you think that that's going to solve their murderous intent? They were, this, this murderer was out there torturing animals on video. He was out there shooting people, driving around town with his BB gun, walking around trying to assault people getting them to fight him in a park repeatedly. He was known as being dangerous. His classmates were saying that he was a bully. They said this on camera and that everybody knew about this. He was known to law enforcement. And this is a school, by the way, that separate from him a couple of years ago dealt with a separate mass shooting threat. And you would think that after that they would have remedied the security issue. I mean, that's every district has generous. They have they have discretion in how funds are spent, respective of location and size. I don't know what kind of oversight exists there or how much money was spent, et cetera. But this idea that we're going to increase the age of and purchase, we're going to take away someone's right, which is a serious thing without putting them before a judge. That's a total absence of due process.